Hello everyone, hope you are doing great. In the previous video, we talked about the twist, how to create the project by the command line. And in this video, we will dive more deeper on the project hierarchy. For example, if we have a project already created and it's up and running, and we need to twisting them to get the benefits we talked um, about the twist on the previous video, we, do, we will do the migration started from this one. So let's just start by adding twist demo and let's move this one here. And first, as we know from the previous videos that we will need three folders, one for, one for sources, one for resources, and one for tests. So let's create them. Let's start with resources first. Here we will need to move all resources we want. We have preview content and assets. We need to move them from here and to uh, resources. So now resources is ready. Let's go to sources and for sources in this project have, we only have a couple of files, which is content view and the dem demo app. Let's move this to sources. So far, we don't have any test cases. So we will keep tests as empty until we create the uh, test cases. But now we can just remove these couple of files. As we know from the previous videos that the project will be the end point uh, or the entry point to the project and we can build the projects from there so this will be the starting we will start with it so let's get started to build the project here we will need to import the project description and from there we can use the project Here we can define name. We can call it anything, for example, more. And also we can define the targets. And because we need to organize and make the, organize the code and the hierarchies, we will keep it empty and create the targets by ourselves. So let's back to the project create twist folder and inside the twist folder we can create the helper one let's create the targets So in this targets, we can add everything related to the targets. So far, our project has only one target, but adding in considerations that your project have more than one target, for example, you using the modular mindset, we will apply the targets and proceed to add this in, into consideration. So what we can do here is extend the target and define any none. And since we will, it will be used um, uh, as shared, we will make it public. Here's the only thing we, the only target we have is the demo app. Maybe later on, you can have your networking target and so on. So you can add, the targets you need over the demo here. Then we can start part of the project. We can extend target the demo and define the target we have. Here we can go step by step. Target we will have 
the target name and we can get the name from the row here. So let's do private your name as a string and we can get it from row value. We can also define the destination of the tar target. In our case, it will be iOS. We can define the product, which will be an app. We can define the deployment target. And let's just start with 15. What else we can define? We can define the info P list, but this is will be for later on uh, on the upcoming videos. And the main things we need to define also is the sources. As we know, we have as the sources folder. We need to define it here. And also we need to define the resources. One thing we can define also is dependencies, but this is will be also for the upcoming video. So now we have the main target, but we can also create the test target, right? Let's um, draft it here as well. This will be test target. We can define test target name and the test target name will be combination between the target name beside test this. This will be the name. Destination will be iOS as well as the product will be unit test, unit testers. And deployment targets will be the same. The sources will be for testers. And for sure, there is no resources so far. And again, we can add, if we need to add any dependencies for related to test target, we can add it here as well. Now back to the project itself, we can add our target. We have the demo on the red. There's demo app. And we can get the target from here. And we also have the test target. To recap, what we have already implemented in this video uh, is just to organize the, the project to resources, sources, and tests folders, and um, start to build the project by adding the project file. And from there, we started to initialize the targets. We created the main target and test target. For the upcoming videos, we will start talking about the dependencies, if we have uh, dependencies in the project and um, how we made custom configuration with it. See you in the next video and thanks for watching.